Hey everyone, welcome to another day of the vlog here. I'm gonna lead up to Ironman Texas. It is January, I'm not sure, 12, 13, something like that, Tuesday. Uh, so this morning I did a swim and a run. Here I'm just on the bike. I just did some, uh, some. I did an hour and about 10 minutes of uh, weights uh, and strength, stuff like that. Show it on the screen at some point here. Just a few of the exercises that I was doing. Took a couple videos here or there. Anyways, so this evening we have a nice little workout, hour and a half. Uh, it's not a insane set, but it's kind of good, real, real good quality. So it's it's actually only five minutes of work within an hour and thirty minutes. Uh, but all that work is like 600, 700 watts kind of stuff. It's a lot of power, uh, high power. Um, and that, see, like I was somewhere on my Instagram, I put in what kind of workouts I'm doing right now. And basically, they're all kind of this style right now, just kind of focused on developing that pure, pure strength, pure power um, before moving into the next phase where we'll shift the stress from muscular to significantly aerobic um, with V2max, very high aerobic, I should say, with V2max intervals. Anyways, so as I'm warming up here, um, I'll have on the screen kind of the Zwift going, but what I was gonna do is I recorded a little thing talking about how I structured my weeks, so the voiceover will be from that. They might have some footage in there of the run I did this morning and discussing all that. So, so I'll stop talking now and I'll let myself, I'll give myself the floor to talk here. So anyways, uh, and we'll catch back in once we kind of get things rolling along here. So as I was saying, I think it would be helpful if maybe I told you a little bit about the structure of the week. Uh, like last, last video, I just showed you kind of a run workout, but I realized that it didn't really show kind of how the week is and considering I'm only doing like a video a week I thought maybe it'd be helpful to uh, learn what I'm doing in a week and I've been doing this for this type of pattern cycle block structure whatever you want to call it for the last I'd say two months or so so basically the sum of it is is I'm working on a seven day cycle that cycle starts out on Tuesday um, and then what how it plays out is Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday are very high intensity days, so three hard days in a row. And then Friday is an active recovery day, but still with a little bit of volume, but active recovery. Um, and then Saturday, Sunday are two more hard days. Hard, not in the sense of intensity like the Tuesday to Thursday is. Um, more hard just in terms of being a little bit bigger volume. Um, and then Monday is a um, pr pretty almost a day off but it's just a very short swim and some yoga um, I do do like instead of taking a complete day off I do like doing just a, a swim I feel I recover better and it means that I can kind of hit that first session on Tuesday pretty well um, because I've maintained that feel for the water so anyways if I was to summarize then like very plainly it's three hard days one easy two hard days one easy um, then specifically, if you wanted kind of how, how the, the week looked specifically, um, Tuesday starts out with a easy run in the morning. Uh, that run, though, is uh, kind of a technical run in the sense that I do it barefoot or for a, a vast majority of it's barefoot. Um, and I've kind of been building that uh, throughout these last couple weeks, few weeks here. Um, intending on getting that up to a full hour uh, straight barefoot and if you're wondering I used to do pretty much all my mileage long runs uh, you know short quick runs everything in between I used to do all of that barefoot in 2012 and amazingly had no injuries then uh, so there has to be something to it I figure um, and yeah actually so those Vibrams that are in the video are the same Vibrams I used back in 2012 so they definitely have a lot a lot of kilometers on them uh, but it really doesn't matter with them because they're they're barefoot shoes and I'm only using them on the treadmill so even if the tread is kind of worn down which it is uh, like there's a hole in one of the toes it doesn't really matter because I'm on the treadmill so anyways um, right now I have it at a 21 minute in the Vibrams and then about 15 minutes back in shoes and the reason I actually started doing this initially 
Um, well, I'll, I'll explain in this video here. 8K, 37, 36 something, 37. So like eight miles an hour, just nice and easy. Uh, barefoot's getting better. Felt like I could, uh, I'm right now like really holding myself back on it um, because I know that the Achilles can, like it takes time to adapt and adjust. And like if you go over just a little bit, I know with it, um, from doing a lot, a lot of barefoot running in the past that you do have to be kind of really like patient with it. And even if you feel good, um, like stopping then. In terms of like the purpose of that, uh, it's, it's really just one, um, like I said in the beginning, I like doing it because I feel um, while running barefoot on the treadmill or in Vibrams on the treadmill, it keeps, keeps my body engaged and um, prevents me from kind of running lazy, so to speak. So it gets me using the treadmill more and I do think the treadmill is a really valuable tool. Um, but unfortunately in the past, I haven't been able to take full advantage of it because uh, it's just, it's bugged. It bugs my hamstring way too much. And I found that using, ever since using the Vibrams um, or doing barefoot before, it was actually, I just took my, my shoes off and ran in my socks in a little bit. And I was like, wow, my hamstring feels really good like that. Um, and then I thought, well, maybe I'll do the Vibrams and see if that helps. And it, it has a lot, like I said, cause I have to stay, I have to keep kind of my core more engaged and uh, therefore the hamstring feels a lot better. Anywho, uh, so that was 21 minutes at, in them. And then, like I said, the goal would be to get that run, build this run out to an hour. I figure if you can do an hour in Vibrams, then, you know, your lower legs are pretty, pretty strong and resilient. And that's what I'm trying to really build that like a resiliency. I've had so many, so many problems in the past um, with stress fractures and to, to post problems like, uh, tip post dysfunction syndrome, whatever you want to call it. Um, and uh, yeah, this is kind of my way of trying to combat that. Based on that history though, uh, I'm, I am gonna take it very slow. So even though, like I said today, I could have pro I felt like I could have done the whole run in them. Um, I'm gonna next week do it as 25 minutes. And then the next week just keep adding a little bit more and a little bit more. That should put me by beginning of, what would that be? end of March, something like that, should be at a full hour barefoot. Um, so anyways, good run. Now it's off to the pool for a good solid uh, kind of sprint set. So yeah, um, that's how the day starts. It starts with an easy run. Um, and then uh, the two main things of the day is there's first a very high intensity kind of sprint session in the pool. Uh, so like 25s and 50s and stuff like that and then a quality bike session in the evening. Uh, and that's another very high end session. And these sessions, like in terms of their structure will change or emphasis, sorry, will change throughout the year, depending on what kind of phase I'm in in my training. Um, but at the moment that kind of, for example, that quality bike is like very, very high end in terms of like getting into that kind of anaerobic type range. Anyways, at the moment, that's that's the emphasis, but that'll change throughout the year. But that Tuesday session, nonetheless, is a high intensity session. Um, so uh, moving on to Wednesday, Wednesday morning, then uh, is a track workout. Um, and yeah, further into the season, there will be an interval workout uh, like kilometer repeats or, or something of that nature, um, kind of field to max type style. Uh, workout for now it's a uh, track workout and I say track even though I'm not actually on a track uh, but what I mean because there's snow and ice on it but um, track in that it's 200s to 600s in that range I haven't even got to 600s yet uh, right now it's just twos and fours um, anyways so that's kind of the, the thing in the morning then there's kind of a strength type swim and then another quality bike in the evening and that bike is um, more of a tempo kind of zone three sweet spot, high, high zone three uh, type bike with sweet spot intervals. And there'll be some kind of maybe short intervals on the end, considering that's the kind of the phase I'm in right now. Um, and then Thursday, Thursday's tempo run uh, and a quality swim. Uh, again, working kind of upper end of things. And then in the evening, it's just an easy bike. I should mention that there's there's strength going out 
all uh, on all of these days uh but just to keep this a little bit shorter um if you're interested in that let me know but just to keep this a little bit shorter um i'm just talking about kind of swim bike run then like i said friday's active recovery so just a swim and a bike saturday then is long bike and a quality kind of threshold uh swim then sunday is long run and strength and monday is like i said before active recovery so anyways that's kind of how the week plays out so like to to give you a number on kind of workouts um that means what i just explained there that means that from tuesday to thursday that first three day little micro block that has six quality workouts in it uh, between the three days uh so it's pretty difficult to get through but then there's active recovery right on the end of it and then saturday and sunday there are three quality workouts in those two days like i said quality in that they're a little bit longer uh in terms of the bike and, and run at least and over the course of the season i will start to build some intensity into those like for the run for example um once i get that run out to about 30k in that range then i'll start doing things in there um like having fast finish long run type things or doing some long kind of efforts in there um and for the bike for example right now i'm just kind of working my way up to kind of a five hour ride or so and then later on into into the year once i'm kind of comfortable with that then i'll start doing things like doing let's say the first four hours easy and then last hour kind of or last 30 minutes let's just say at kind of race pace um something something like that so but for now it's just kind of volume is is the quality aspect of them and uh yeah this this kind of pattern has been working for a little while hope that's interesting and uh so back to the bike workout all right that's the one minute or down i was going really good through 50 and then just made a really bad really bad gear change i was doing in the saddle at 500 and then going out of the saddle to six and based on my cadence i thought that i could go up by two gears <clears throat> and power through that but it was just there's too much lactate in the legs there couldn't push that gear at that point in time anyways live and learn so we got two by 30 seconds to go 600 the first 230s were maybe 630 640 so it was real good and then, then we got four times 15 seconds rounds over anything over 700 would be good It's amazing really how long 30 seconds can feel. I'm gonna get on with these and I'll uh, catch up with you on Sunday I guess. Um, that's all for now and uh, thanks so much for watching. If you like hit that subscribe button. Really appreciate. There'll be a video coming every every week, sometimes twice a week. Like in this this week there'll be two videos. Um, and yeah, it all be will be leading up to my Ironman debut in Texas. Um, overall, good day, good little run this morning in the, the barefoot shoes. 
and then a good swim, real good swim actually, good, good strength workout, and now I'll do pretty good on this one, disappointed at that one minute or the last 10 seconds of it, but overall, good, tomorrow we got a very hard run in the morning, and then quality swim, easy bike, and then that's all. Alrighty, I'll stop rambling on. And again, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you later.